Yo, what one man them? So today, we're gonna be talking about the new rising star, yeah? It's Peyton Talbot, only 25 years old, and man's lighting up the USC scene for real. Them legends, they're all saying the kid's a beast, you know, straight up savage in the ring. Peyton Talbot, and I'd never seen this guy fight before. This kid is a motherfucker, dude. He's so good. Saw him on the contender thing, man, flipped out of a takedown like it was nothing. Proper skills, yeah? Man's got these feints in place like no other, like he's keeping it chill but deadly in it, like. In the April fights, man finished 7, and not just any finishes, we're talking style, flair, everything, yeah? Even though he's fresh in the game, his confidence is like he's been doing it for decades now. Championship vibe all over, you know? But you know what? It just ain't about his fighting style that got people talking. It's his all vibe, different level. Peyton Talbot kid. He's sick to watch. I watched him on the contender. Back flips out of that fucking single leg. That was sick. He's he's very skilled. He's got really good feints and he's got really good. His pace is really good. He doesn't look, try to come out there and go all crazy. He's like a natural fighter. Where is he from though? Like came up from a wrestling background in high school. Gave him the confidence to handle anyone, anywhere. Stand up, ground game, doesn't matter to Talbot, yeah? In the ring he's smart, you know. Keep his distance when he needs. But those knees and body shots, bro, deadly, yeah? And them head kicks start off the round feast, innit? Like, he's setting up the pace, running the show, like, that's what he does. And when he hits you, you feel it, bro, like, like, we've seen it, like, especially in his last fight. And man's feints got his opponent guessing, and them knees, bro, forget about it, like, if you're trying to take him down, good luck. Overall, I feel like he... He seems like an overall, like a good fighter and it, only time will tell how, how good he handles the top tier competition but from what I've seen up till now, brother is, is a problem. He is a problem bro. He ain't just about the win. He's about putting on a show, bringing them knees high, smashing through guards and when he beacons you in, that's the end game. He's found his rhythm and once he's in it, he's unstoppable. His approach, all about the flow state. Says when he's there, no one can touch him, yeah? And his story, yeah, started fighting right out of high school. What's funny is that one of in, in one of these interviews with Ariel Halwani, he said didn't even knew about MMA, he said he was at a sushi bar. No, I've never, I was never a fan of MMA until I started doing it when I was like 18, actually. 17 or 18. Wow, so you didn't grow up watching anything. You Were, like, were you even aware of what the UFC was? No, I didn't even know what it was until I was sitting at a sushi restaurant and I saw Conor McGregor highlights or something for some fight that was coming up. And I was like looking at it, I was like, that, there's no way that that's actually a thing. Like people are actually allowed to fight in a cage. Um, and then I started thinking about it. I was like, I'd like to try that. Like I'm super bored. So, but I never knew what it was before then. Now, I don't know how true that is, but, but certainly brings that sort of like enigma towards a fighter there. Um, and he said that he, he is filled with inner void, he's been trying to patch up with fighting, stress all of it, like, even got tattoos to symbolise that void, yeah? Inspired by his favourite anime Bleach, says he's always felt that emptiness about fighting, love, passion, that's what fills it, yeah? In the ring man's a tactician, turning the defence into brutal counter attacks, always a step ahead, talks about wanting to push the pace in UFC, get in the mix with the top dogs, Test himself against the best. Who's that name like Sugar Sean, Peter Yon, Mirab? Says those are the fights that will define him. And I agree with that, yeah? Like that's what, what will really show how good he is. So what's your take on Talbot, yeah? That's what we're going to find out. For myself, I'm going to break down his last fight. And and then we, we, we get into the comments and see what your thoughts are about this, this young up-and-coming monster, yeah? So... Peyton Talbot, yeah, as I said, man's only 25, already smashing it, undefeated, banged out two dubs in the UFC, both time, man, man finished them clean, just put down Cameron Simon, and let's be real, Simon ain't no easy walk, he's solid bro, but Peyton, fam, he weren't messing about, said he'd level up, and bro, he did just that, absolutely schooled Simon, swear down. Talbot's technique was on point as well, pure class throughout the fight, yeah? He got a bit comfy walking into the danger zone though, not gonna lie. Like he's trying to be terminated or something, ducking and diving through punches. But you know what? Like, if a man's got that defense, which is clean, why not? And the way man picks his shot, artwork, bro. 
clear, clean shots, yeah? That moment he popped the lead uppercut on Simon was sick. Simon's there, always trying to play with that lead and trying to trap it, right? But Talbot, smooth with it. See Simon reach, bam, slip that uppercut right under, catches him square in the eye. Pure Conor McGregor vibes, yeah? And that knee, as Simon goes for the takedown, oof. Talbot just see it coming, bang, knee to the neck, could have ended it right there. Um, and Talbot's not just throwing, he's thinking, you know, a lot like, like Sean O'Malley with the angles and everything. I, I like that, you know. Um, and I like, I like the pocket boxing that he was doing, bro. Like, like a lot like, you know, Dustin Poirier as well. And that bit where he dodges Simon's takedown, counter with that elbow over the top, mud. Simon's lost, you know, doesn't even know where he is. Tries to get back up and bam, eats another elbow. Talbot's not just fighting, he's performing, bro. Every move's calculated, every strike with intent. Man's got the game on lock. And you know, Talbot's got this way of throwing, like, right, barely giving anything away. Then there is this wild moment, catches Simon's kick, flip it into a spinning hook kick. It's cheeky, because he's got Simon pinned. Waits for Simon to try and twist out, but Talbot's grip's strong, you know. Waits for the perfect moment, and Simon faces him again. Steps right, and wham, that spinning hook kick again. It's a bit blocked, but still the impact's there. All in all, it was a beautiful performance, like, remind me of the old schoolers who'd walk through Storm unbothered, but still, Talbot, I feel like he's, he's on a good level. I'd still like to see him fight like the top tees, but, you know, it keeps you wondering, how does he do it? Like, is he, is he the next big thing? Uh, only time will tell, but leave, leave the comments, like, leave it on the comment section. What do you think about this fighter? Like, who should he fight next? What do you think his future is in in MMA and yeah watch out for other videos if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to this button we've got some crazy documentaries out and yeah we've been throwing videos we need your support and it's all love out here safe